he just picked up the dog and just threw it in the bin of life, the dog's alive. Would you be okay with eating animals in an organic way? There's also benefit in eating meat as well. Do you think you can get iron and protein from plant foods? Sharing the love, the Christmas love. If I give this to people, right, they don't have to pay for it, they'll taste it, and they'll be like, actually, I really like that, I'm gonna eat that instead of chickens, hopefully. Take whatever one you want, we just, got, are you guys vegan? Do you know, vegetarian. you're vegetarian. Do you know what happens in the dairy industry? The, the mothers, do you know why cows produce milk? For their, for their baby. When the baby's not having that milk, so we can have it, where's the baby? Does it die? Well, it depends. The females will go on to produce milk, but they'll, they'll be put in solitary confinement away from their mother. And the, so she loses her baby immediately after birth, basically. Then they take the milk from her. But the boys, they can either be killed on the farm or raised for veal and killed sh shortly after or raised for beef. And then the mothers are all killed after about five or six years of losing their young. So the dairy industry is one of the most horrible industries to the animals. So do you want to take some, some uh, dairy-free desserts? I'm also giving out these little scan with your phone and it just shows you what supermarkets have vegan stuff for Christmas. I recommend watching something like um, Land of Hope and Glory. It's like where meat and dairy comes from in the UK. So if you're vegetarian, you're against, uh, I don't know if you're against eating meat for some ethical reason, but the dairy cows all go to the beef industry, all of them. So because the dairy industry exists, the beef industry exists, if you know what I mean. So 50% of the beef in this country comes from dairy cows who are killed. That's the egg industry. They kill all the males. Okay. They, they macerate the males because they don't produce eggs. Yeah. Take care. Like you see that type of thing, how can, how can anyone do that? I saw, I saw this guy, I think he raised dogs and he just picked up, he, the dog had no use for him. He just picked up the dog and just threw it in the bin alive. The dog's alive. He just, and then, then they get the others and, and then they just burn them all, alive. Yeah. The dog, he just picked him and just threw him in the bin. It's horrible. I couldn't even. There could be something missing in people, like they must be. Well, the things that I've seen in, the things I've seen in factory farms, some of the worst things I've seen in my life. People, because they, they have to meet a demand, right? Yeah. So everyone here wants to eat chickens. They have to put them all in a the shed. They can't mass produce animals without them being in factory farms. And then they have to mass slaughter them. The way they're slaughtered is so quick. You know, they have to kill so many yeah. back to back. They're, they're just being tortured and killed and dying in their blood. Yeah. yeah. It's like this. this they wouldn't be doing it if the public didn't pay for it. Period. So I'm I'd taking... say 12,000 years ago, yeah? Do you eat animals? It's a free guide, but we're trying to ask people not to eat the animals. Industries that harm animals. You know, meat industry, wool industry, dairy industry. This here is all vegan. Do you know what vegan is? Vegan is uh, no animal products. No milk, no meat, no eggs. Okay, so this is all vegan. This sign here means uh, vegan. Take some to try, whatever you want. Take some. Yeah, this is a uh, popcorn chicken, vegan. My friend's VFC. Yeah, yeah, I'm not selling. This is for free. I bought this. You can roast that little Wellington. You want a cake, pudding, whatever you want. Take one of these. You want one of these? A cake? It's a dessert. No worries. Nice talking. Nice to meet you too. You take care. Next time I see you, you're going to be vegan. Yeah, you can take. My best friend's vegan. She's coming for Christmas. So we're Bless you. Vegan Christmas Merry Christmas. That's really put me off eggs. So it's yeah. a good start. Yes. Yeah. That's a good Thank start. You. But how do they get all these people to work in these places? They need a job. The best, best job available to them. A lot of people, immigrants. This is the only place they can get a job and it's good money. People don't want to work. It's not their, like, their job of choice. They're working there because they're, they're forced by circumstance to work in there. Like most people don't want to, there's some sick people that want to work in a slaughterhouse, they don't care. Yeah. But most people are working there because of their circumstance, they don't, and, but and. I swear, but that's where the human being is going to put their foot down, because me, yeah. like, I, I got Morris, there's jobs that I would not do. Yeah, true. I won't, I, I won't I, do it. Until like capitalism destroyed everything, yeah, if you're self-sufficient, none of this would happen. None of this would be happening anyway, but it's just greed. Everything's run by greed, <laughs> and I want everything cheap. I'm giving people vegan food because I don't want the animals to get harmed on Christmas so I'm just showing them that there's some different options. Are you a vegan? No, but I do like meat though. Yeah, so we had a bunch of meaty substitutes here but everyone's taken them so we've got, you know, we've got some, uh, this is like a tofu eggs. 
But um, yeah, take some stuff. Take whatever you want. If you want to take this cake with you, showing people what happens to the animals in the in the farms and slaughterhouses here. It's horrible cruelty, and they only exist these places because people pay for it basically so they go in there and they buy the meat they subsidize the cruelty and slaughter and um if everyone made better choices animals wouldn't be in these places being forcibly bred and tortured and killed would you be okay with eating animals in an organic way as in like if they were farm bred free to roam no no because okay. if you were free to roam i still wouldn't want you to be if you had a happy but, life but if you're in the animal world you know carnivores eat other animals yeah. animals rape each other they do horrible torture each other the lions will torture their prey for five minutes before they kill them we're civilized we're against cruelty but there's but there's also benefit in eating meat as well what is the benefit what would you say iron protein do you think you can get iron and protein from plant foods Sure yeah. So there's, it's really it's needless to do that to the animals for proteins and nutrients that you can get outside from from without the animals. The only one that you can't get from plants in a good enough inadequate amount is B12. And free range animals go to these same slaughterhouses. Like free range animals will go to the same slaughterhouse as the other animals. See, like from an ethical point of view, like because I I eat a lot of halal meat, yeah. Things to be halal, but the animal has to be treated well. Like obviously. Yeah, that's loaded. I know what their traditional halal is supposed to be, but supposed in England, yeah, in yeah. England, it's not even it's I not even yeah. like that. They're all factory farmed here. Yeah, the like chickens are all factory farmed. Yeah. They're suffering. So whereas and if, you go, if you go to like places in the Middle East or where back, things are actually fish. yeah, but a lot of the lambs they eat over there, they come from Australia, and they're in, they're on they're being live exported over there, and they're suffering and dying on the ships. So it's not even halal. You know what happens is a Muslim might go up to the butcher, the butcher will say this is halal, and they trust the butcher, but they don't know anything that happened down the line. You know, and and they and Muslims will eat. Uh, dairy products, right? Dairy products always involves the calf being taken from the mum, so maternal trauma. Um, the torture in the dairy industry, and that's haram. You can't torture animals. So, and see you later. And those dairy cows are all slaughtered, and then they're not slaughtered halal. They're slaughtered, you know. Take care, my brother. Keep speaking the truth. Yeah. And also, you're Muslim, obviously yeah, yeah. you're Muslim. So there's nothing in the Quran that says that you have to. It's no, mandated. You meat, must. Meat's a luxury. It's not. Yeah. It's not a necessity. Yeah. And I don't even think Muhammad was no. eating heaps and heaps of meat and no, things. It was, it, was a, it was a luxury. It wasn't a yeah. necessity. Yeah. Fruit and vegetables was more of a, you know, mandatory requirement. And you got to look after your body and the health yeah, and the exactly. health of the earth. Meat, if you eat meat too much, it's bad. Yeah. Everything within reason, though, isn't it? Halal meat here is not actually no. traditional no, it's not. Orthodox halal. No, I, I agree. With you. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. So you don't actually know what's happening to the animals. No, it's it's yeah. all haram. Yeah. If you, I've never seen, like, I, I, honestly, the way they're slaughtering them here, they're all stun, they're stunning them, or they're, That's you the know. Thing, like, and then that obviously invalidates the. It, yeah. It's stunned. But as a Muslim, like, you well, can be vegan. There's nothing wrong with being no, a vegan I, Muslim. I There's heaps of vegan Muslims, yeah. and that, yeah. And, I just like the taste of And I, the thing about Islam is that it's one of the only religions that have something about animal cruelty in there. Yeah, it, exactly. You know what I mean? So that's why I have really good discussions with Muslims because yeah. they have something about animal, haram and halal and things like this. To treat the animals before you slaughter them. Yeah, yeah. But when you think about like that, that's because I think the Quran written in a time where they only had specific things to eat, right? Yeah. Now that there's all this variety. It really is in the in the worst case scenario where I have to kill you. I'm going to kill you as compassionately as I can. Bet it's quick, you know. But I don't have to kill you, yeah. and we don't have to kill the animals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So really, it's a needless thing now. Let's be honest. I I would like to be more vegan and vegetarian if I could, but I, and I can. I'm sure I can. Um, the only thing I would be careful of as a Muslim is alcohol yeah. in, in in these. The only thing that worries me is like you know like these macro proteins and stuff. Aren't they all like scientifically like? Produced like oh, you mean like, you know what I mean? like well, this is tofu, this is just us. Uh, bean, beans, curdled. yeah, it's curdled beans, well, but you know, like macro proteins and stuff like that, isn't that like, yeah, what do you mean by like, like soya protein and that, yeah, isn't it, isn't it like scientifically generated and stuff? Like oh, no, 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 you're talking about like lab grown yeah, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. stuff, no, 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 this is just basically it's processed plant food, so they take the protein out of the wheat, they take the protein out of the, the soya, yeah. and they just make food out of it, like it's like you get you might get some processed uh, salami or something like yeah. this. Plant proteins are healthier than animal proteins for yeah. for your body. Um, are you saying like as humans we're not? Are we not omnivores? Are we not like well, to... Any other omnivore will have long claws, big, long, sharp teeth. They have... they eat their food raw. But we have canine teeth. Yeah, but the biggest canines belong to the hippopotamus, and they're herbivore. So just because you've got canine teeth doesn't mean you're supposed to be eating meat. If you eat too much meat, you you get heart disease and die. Yeah, you yeah. know, and uh, meat's destroying the planet. It's cruel to the animals. It's just everything. If you believe in God and Allah and things yeah. like this, it's everything against. 
You know, why would you create yeah. this monstrosity of factory farming to destroy his own earth, God's own earth, and yeah. then killing his but, own people? But like, at the same time, he's kind of giving you the, like the right to eat animals, but in a, in a. I think it's for specific scenarios. I don't think that scenario exists. Like, Muhammad didn't have an iPhone and drive. You know, like, the yeah. times have changed. Change, yeah. You have to adapt to the times. But if it's needless, I, I would, I would, I would say I this. I just like the taste of meat. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. If I don't get a bit of meat, I just feel. Like and that's bad. why the, the, I wish I had some some of the squeaky bean in that. Like, no, I, I do like. I buy all this stuff. I do buy it. Like, obviously, it's the most halal. If they have halal, but if they. I, I can guarantee you, you get chicken that says halal, it's not halal bro. I, I it's know, full it's, of suffering, tortured factory farmed no, animals. No, no, no. They, it's, they, it's a mindset that I have to change though, isn't it? You, you want permission as a Muslim to see that halal sign, I got permission. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's usually because a lot of Muslims don't want to give up meat. And it's, it's just like every other of, person. Part of our culture, though, so is it's like, part of my culture. I'm from Australia. Part of my culture. I'm half Italian, half Scottish. Part of my. It's part of every single culture that meets a, that meets a centerpiece. In every single, everyone has the same, but you'll find uh, Muslims have the halal thing, but every other one, everyone else has their own little excuse. It's yeah, like, yeah. oh, but protein, oh, I need iron, or I only ever eat free range animals, that's a big one, but yeah. I've seen free range places, they all go to the same, same slaughterhouses. Oh, yeah. well, I wish you all the best, man. I honestly I do. No worries, brother. Did you want to, did you want to take anything that's left? No, you, no, no. Are you no, sure? Sorry, you want to take some information with some documentaries on, um, I'll watch. some I'll documentaries watch. on this side? Thank you very much. Ethics, man. environment, health. You know, every time you go in there, you're paying for something egregious to happen to the animals, you know what I mean? And you don't have to, it's not mandated by your religion, it's yeah. not, no one's forcing you, of you course. have a choice. It's, it's just healthier to eat vegetables and stuff. Yeah. I know, man, it's just a mindset you've got to change. It's a mindset, it. it's kind of like gluttony a little bit, it's like, it's a little bit of lust, it's a little bit of that, yeah. that nice taste yeah. for that, for the animals. Lifetime of suffering, hell, choking on their own blood, having their head hacked off, completely needless. I agree, man, I do agree. I wish I could be a bit more vegetarian well, I, I eat. and the dairy industry that is definitely not if if anything was haram yeah. it's a dairy industry it's a prolonged suffering they, they they forcibly they basically rape them to impregnate them with a you know yeah. a steel rod yeah. and then they take every calf they've ever had off of them and the mothers mourn there so that's the most prolonged torture and suffering out of any industry dairy and I don't know why it's not in the Quran or in the um is it hadiths that yeah. have I don't know why, I think I know why it's not, because the dairy they, industry didn't exist they, back then. Exactly, so obviously so, farmers had... So they had some, maybe a goat. But, but and farmers they, would have cows and goats and cows, but they, they wouldn't, would milk them like... They would animal, probably leave the calf with them. Yeah. Yeah, so, but now well, we you're getting your like, dairy from we the... Don't live like that, though. Yeah, so that's why it wasn't accounted for, because the dairy industry is like a hellish thing that's only just, you know, coming... So I could guarantee you, it's, if, if yeah, they no. rewrote the books and included all these industries... But this is the thing, though, the modern way of living has not been back to 1400 years ago. So you have to use, you know, your you can have, you have to use your logic and compassion as well, yeah. you know, and your faith, but you have to like sort of go, wait a second, I'll use a bit of logic, bit of my faith here, and uh, you know, live the best you can. Yeah. So like the only way you really can like have milk in an ethical way is having your own cow milking it yourself. You have to get them pregnant. How do they, get, they can only produce milk when they've been pregnant, pregnant yeah. impregnated. Yeah. It still hasn't changed that mentality that milk is food because this is why we have mass production. Once someone, it was all backyard milk at one stage. Yeah. You know, now we've got everyone wants milk, so we have to mass produce. They all have to get, go to the slaughterhouse. All these yeah. dairy cows. It's the mass production, it's like especially like in New Zealand and Australia, there's like loads of like methane that gets produced by cows and stuff and cheese. So and destroying God's earth. You know what I mean? All right, brother. All right, no wish worries. You all the best, man. See. Take care, man. Take care. Peace. No worries, bro. Have a good Christmas. Oh, you know, celebrate Christmas. <laughs> ah, got me. <laughs> no worries. Hello. Hello. We're giving away free food with no no strings attached. Vegan means that you're against the exploitation and cruelty in your lifestyle. So these products here, foods, are all vegan. Did you? You guys are gonna wait. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. That's for you. For free. Yeah. Go on. One. One each. And you can take that. Think about the animals that go to the slaughterhouse when you eat them. Oh, yeah. Are you Australian? Yeah. Oh, no. Are you from Sydney? <gasps> no. No. Yeah. no. That's not nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop eating chicken now. Though. All animals here, most of the chickens, most of the pigs, like I mean high 90% are all factory farm. Yeah. If you eat eggs, the egg layers are gas chambered too. When they don't produce enough eggs anymore, they send them to the gas chamber, kill them, put them in chicken nuggets. Um, dairy cows are all slaughtered. They had their yeah, kids like taken uh, away from them. AFCs or yeah. yeah, all chicken, all, all chicken. Yeah. Like if you want to be vegan, right? Here's yeah. a little supermarket Christmas guide. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
Yeah. And you can scan it. It just tells you where all the vegan stuff. And Thank when you purchase vegan products, you're not paying for suffering, cruelty, or violence. Yeah. Thank you, know you mean? so much. Thank for you. Not eat them. Accent. Yeah. Howdy, how are you? I'm Wait, good, thanks, mate. I, 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 went, I went to go get Tesco and I bought a bottle of water from, and the girl who served me, her name was Emma. So Emma. Was well, I've got a good British oh, accent. Oh, what do you think of this? Is that all right? Oh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right, not that good. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Leave the animals alone uh, this Christmas. <laughs> and leave the kangaroos alone, too. Have yeah. you, mate? Yeah. Are you trying to convince today? What's the game, mate? I'm not vegan. I'm not going to be vegan either, but I appreciate it. Why not? We all eat, mate. Dude. If I needed to eat and I'm okay. still with beer, okay. I'm having that beer.